Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Wednesday, December 15th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about Arthur Berturbiev's latest title defense at light heavyweight against Marcus Brown. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just state the obvious here. The betting spread has Marcus Brown as a plus 700. Some shops, according to oddschecker.com, even have him as high as a plus 850. Even though I have the utmost respect for Arthur Perturbiev, I live on planet Earth. And on planet Earth, I believe this bet makes itself. Marcus Brown, the pride of Staten Island. Let me say sorry to Pete Davidson, sorry to the Wu-Tang Clan, but this is a boxing site. The pride of Staten Island, Marcus Brown, a guy who beat Badu Jack, a guy who gets knocked down three times by Jean Pascal. The highlights are in my favorites folder and only loses that fight by one round. Right? That Marcus Brown should not be going off at these long odds. You're going to be unpopular at the casino. You're going to be unpopular with your friends. But part of your betting portfolio has to be, at these odds, Marcus Brown simply to win. Folks, He's the more mobile of the two fighters. He's a slick southpaw. He's a boxer puncher. Right? Baturbiev, one of the hardest punchers in boxing. I have the highlights from his career in my favorites folder. He is a very hard puncher. But you'll notice as you look at the film that Baturbiev does have a weakness. He needs a pocket. This is not Golovkin with ring coverage. Paterbiev doesn't have a lot of ring coverage. He relies on hooks. He's two-handed. He's a heavy puncher. If you cover up up top, he'll hit you in the body. He's alpha in fights. He's front foot heavy. He gets you over by the side of the ring. In the video that I have posted here, look at him against Tavoris Cloud, a guy who was a very heavy puncher. He's battering Cloud. He has Cloud on his back foot. He has Cloud over by the ropes. Here's the problem, right? And position is everything in this fight. Marcus Brown has ring coverage. Marcus Brown has an excellent jab. Marcus Brown is a skilled counterpuncher. He has the longer game than Arthur Baturbiev. There is a possibility that Marcus Brown stays outside and wins this fight from the outside. Right? He's going to have to stay away from the ropes. He's going to have to be in the middle of the ring. He's going to have to be the one on his back foot as Baturbiev tries to jump in on his front foot. But let me just say, you know, Marcus Brown has fought quality competition. You remember Gabe Campillo, former champion at 175. He fought Marcus Brown. Got stopped in the first round. Folks, that's Campillo's last fight. An argument can be made that Marcus Brown ended Campillo's career. Let me tell you, I know it's odd to say in a fight where he got dropped three times, but the Jean Pascal fight, and I have the highlights in my favorite folder, the Jean Pascal fight, he's out boxing Pascal. Right? Okay, you get dropped three times. You might lose on the scorecard. That fight was stopped prematurely off a headbutt. 
Right, Brown couldn't continue. They went to the scorecards. And, of course, Brown lost that fight by a round. Had the fight continued, I'm just telling you when Brown wasn't getting knocked down, as odd as that sounds, Brown was winning the fight. Now, let's talk about what's disturbing about Brown. You'll notice that the Jean Pascal knockdowns are off counter right hands. In other words, Brown, a lefty, was too close to Pascal, who has power, repeatedly. And when Brown went down, he goes down hard. It looked like he was fully conscious, but it did look like his body wasn't cooperating. And that's bad. Because when your body doesn't cooperate, when you hit the canvas, in other words, you get hit, you fall on the canvas, you know you're on the canvas, you're able to talk to the referee, but you also notice that the guy's body is sluggish. Then it doesn't matter how much courage the fighter has. If his body doesn't want to fight, that fighter's getting stopped. So... The way I'm playing this, in fact, it's the way I'm trying to play this. I have money on Brown right now. I got a plus 700, right? Uh, the casino I'm using, of course, hasn't posted the Baturbiev by KO prop yet, right? Welcome to the world of gambling. You want a prop, and then they tell you, oh, that prop's not available right now. But if it ever becomes available, the bet I like is Marcus Brown simply to win. I have money there already. Hedged with Baturbiev by stoppage. Right? Marcus Brown is going to have to fight a disciplined fight. He's done it before when he beat Badu Jack by several rounds. He's going to have to fight a disciplined fight where he's moving. He's not lingering in the pocket. He's keeping a distance between himself and a very front foot heavy Baturbiev. Understand, Marcus Brown hits hard. Right? Marcus Brown could set it up so that Baturbiev walks into something. Think Marquez against Pacquiao. Their last fight. Right? In any event, Marcus Brown certainly doesn't want to be over by the ropes. He needs to keep this in the middle of the ring. He needs to have it set up so that he's not close enough to Baturbiev for Baturbiev to throw hooks. If Baturbiev is throwing straight hands, he doesn't have the same power. Brown needs to win the easy rounds. In other words, if Baturbiev is walking into a jab, the crowd could be booing you. Win the round with your jab. He has an excellent right jab. As I said, he's a southpaw. What Brown also needs to do is when he throws his big left hand, and he's a bit like Josh Taylor, he can't help himself. Right, Winning the rounds on points just isn't something he wants to do all night. He's going to want to mix it up eventually. Right, Amir Khan is this way. So, what he needs to do is when he throws his big left hand, right, southpaw throwing a left hand, he needs to roll with the punch. He needs to make sure that there's nothing there for Baturbiev to counter. Something Brown did not do against John Pascal. I'm just playing the odds in this fight. I hear Marcus Brown at any number over a plus 300. I don't care who he's fighting at light heavyweight. Right? Any number above a plus 300, Brown simply to win is going to be part of my betting portfolio. Here I got him at a plus 700. I'll hedge the play with Baturbiev by stoppage. Understand, Baturbiev has 16 wins in 16 fights with 16 KOs. Folks, Baturbiev has not gone the distance as a pro. I don't see Baturbiev out boxing Brown. But if Baturbiev does what he does best, 
it would be to win by stoppage. So, I like the underdog, plus 700, hedged with the favorite, Beterbiev, by stoppage. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Keep in mind, too, there's a regional thing going on here. John Pascal is big in Canada. Right? That's where this fight's going to be. Arthur Beterbiev is big in Canada. Right? Everyone in the crowd is going to know that John Pascal dropped Marcus Brown three times. There's a little bit of pressure on Arthur Beterbiev to at least match the performance of John Pascal. Right? And so, just to understand, Beterbiev is not coming in here to win a decision. Right? He's not coming in here to box and bob and weave. No, he's coming in here to be on his front foot throwing hooks. He's going to try to corner Marcus Brown from the first round. Right, so it's up to Brown to show us that he could keep the fight in the middle of the ring. That he could keep Paterbiev outside getting hit by a jab. That sets up Brown's right, excuse me, Brown's left hand. If I'm Brown, I don't even focus on throwing left hooks. I just try to throw straight lefts off the right jab. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.